Okay, what's up? Chunky but funky here. Kind of frustrated because I've been fucking trying to do this video forever and it keeps fucking shutting off. I don't know why. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to get right into it. This is a story time of how my best friend tried to kill me. So let me go into a little bit of detail of how I met her. I met her in high school and I was kicking in with these group of girls that were acting really stupid, really fake and I was like getting tired of their shit. So I was like, you know what, peace out. I'm going to go start my own crew. So I started walking around the school looking for some good candidates for my own crew that I was going to be making and I was like, okay, let's see, you know, let's go here, let's walk around here, no, no, no. I was like, let me go to the library. So I went to the library, and I seen this girl sitting there. It was, it's crazy. It seems like a movie, but it's like now that I hear it, it sounds like a movie. But um, I see this girl sitting there. She kind of looks like a tomboy. She kind of looks, you know, rough around the edges, and she was alone. And I seen her, and I knew her from choir. I think that I knew her from choir. So I was like, hey, I know you. What's up? You know, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, I told her the situation. I was kicking in with these girls. They're acting stupid, blah, blah, blah. So we get to talking and we figured out that we knew each other because my uncle was dating her mom. And her cousin was best friends with my brother back when they were going to high school. So I was like, it's meant to be, girl. It's just meant to be. So we started kicking it. We became inseparable. Um, I kind of changed her style a little bit because she had a real cute little body. And I was like, you know what, girl? Like, I'm chunky. I show my body. Like, I'd be looking cute. I keep it tight. I keep it right. Like, you have a cute body naturally. Like, you need to, like, show it off. You need to, like, dress cute. So I kind of did a little makeover on her. And we, you know, became... That we came to unstoppable bitches like we we're just unstoppable and um so anyways so yeah so we were inseparable we did everything together we you know experienced a lot of stuff in high school where we just went through a lot of shit together and we were best friends we were best friends if you saw her you saw me if you saw me you saw her it was just like that and then we got some other people in our crew too so we had like a little group going on after school we'll go to her house because her house is the kicking spot because her mom worked all day so she was like all the time by herself so you know we took advantage of that but yeah we ditched together and everything we were just fucking best friends you know what it is you know what a best friend is you know what a bff is so anyway so that's what it was but then our friendship started um kind of going south when she started doing some like real thought activities like she started going like too far with the thoughtness like she was doing she was being real thoughty everywhere around school and she was kind of avoiding me and people were coming up to me telling me that the shit she was doing flashing guys doing this doing that sucking dick I don't know up on the bleachers some shit like that and I was just like oh hell no like I no 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 like y you're associating me with that like people were started like associating you know oh she's a hoe then she gotta be a hoe because she's always with her no 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 so our friend she you know we we never fought we never argued we never disagreed we had a good friendship so you know I just said if you want to be a little thought go do your thought activities you know I'm gonna be over here I wasn't necessarily a nerd I didn't really do good and real good in school but I was just you know I had a lot of self-respect so I said go ahead do you boo and I'm gonna do me boo boo so that was it like I didn't see her after that I don't know what happened to her some shit happened to her after that so anyway so I, I ended up getting pregnant at 19 so I, I had a baby and she I didn't see her for a long time but we ended up getting back acquainted after high school after I had my baby um I was you know after I had my child I was real kind of depressed I lost a lot of weight I was real thin and I was just always in the house and my aunt was like you know what you need to get out um I ran into um and, and then I just didn't have any friends like my friends were just not around I don't know what was going on but um my aunt happened to run